So you can take another question. Okay, yeah. question. Uh, actually, the practical problem which I am facing in my project is, uh, <clears throat> like in my team, let's say two developers have taken one one story. Experience level is same. Both the developers. So one developer has estimated the story five point, and we we follow the two weeks of script. And one developer has estimated the story point as eight. Now when they create tasks, they estimate in hours. So both the developers have estimated. Uh, like let's say 50 hours for both the story, five point but size is different. Right? Yeah, and eight pointer. So now the questions I uh, like, which I face uh, from when the stakeholders, why this five pointer story is not getting completed earlier than the eight pointer story, which I believe should be. Okay? But developers, uh, I mean, so how to convince the developer of uh, because uh, I mean, I mean, how to I mean fix this? I mean, the five pointer story should be completed uh, because it's five and eight, so there should be I mean. So this kind of uh, questions I face, I mean, from, uh, so, so, so uh, if I re paraphrase, there are two stories in a given sprint, both has a different sizes, five and eight, but in an upfront estimation in a sprint backlog, they are coming up in more or less same. Same. And the stakeholder asks what is happening. Yeah. So how to answer this? Okay. Uh, Any views? Yeah. Start. Uh, I mean, uh, if, if you don't compare uh, points with the hours, that is the one thing. Uh, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll do the right thing. Like, uh, if I'm putting five, that means I know some some part of that particular story. So probably I know this this has to be done, and probably it might require 200 lines of code. So writing 200 lines of code might take eight hours. But if I go with the user story, which is eight, where I don't know. But after uh, uh, analysis, I see there is a very small change, or is a change where it will take only eight hours. So we cannot directly compare, uh, you know, estimation. With uh, our estimation with size. Right. So the question which I face is uh, why this five pointer story? Why don't you go? I mean, it can be. It should be accepted in the middle of the iteration. Don't wait till the end of the iteration because it's a five pointer. All right. People ask questions like that. And the eight pointer definitely sir. Size is big, so it is getting at the end don't of the iteration. Don't waste these two. Don't waste the second thing. Mix. Second thing is something uh, separate topic. Let's stick to a sizing issue. Hmm. So let's stick to a discussion where we say that how do we relate. Size with estimation in hours. Simple words. And it's the most controversial topic in this agile world. Okay, so don't think that you are asking something strange. Yeah. Because I mean duration, right? Uh, because if you are sizing something, there there is a duration. If if, if the there should be some big, correlation with something. Yeah. So big Else, and very big. what is the big and what is small? Yeah, and definitely it depends on the person knowledge and everything. I mean, but the team is like at the same uh, level of knowledge. But sizing is done by not by individual or individual. If they whole as a team, they can they, they will say that this is five and this is eight, and something is getting uh, five is getting more than that. Then it's the team responsibility that why we can help that it is taking too much and we can achieve instead of uh, at end of retrospective or end of the sprint why it is getting so we how we can as a team why this is five is taking as a eight as a time. So where we fail, either we identified in failing the use case, or there are some technical liabilities, or some some spikes are coming. What is that coming? And in the daily sprints, have we identified that impediment to the management instead of instead of fifth day we are raising that? So these are okay. Any other views? So typically, when uh, such things come in my organization, uh, the baselining of when. We happen to discuss at a team level in the planning. The person is a uh, person who, uh, which roughly puts eight points uh, need to convince others that this is an eight pointer story. If at a team agreement level you believe that this is an eight pointer story, and, uh, then you are forming a baseline for forecasting your next couple of stories as eight pointers. Uh, whereas five pointer story, if it is having that line or code line or you know forecasting of a team agreement with a similar experience appears to be much smaller than what eight pointer content should have. Eventually, this is this particular baseline may uh, have exception in terms of when you start into execution. Then, as we said, it's a fine tweet and eight pointer can become two pointers so fine agreeable this is one of the exceptions if this exception is spelled out in the retrospective team agrees that okay this is something which we need to do much more 
detailed study going forward for estimation then this is a learning point if you are you are bubbling up a story then it doesn't make any sense it's a blunder within the team which means that your rest of the backlog can go haywire if team is practicing this so in the scrum master you need to be very particular in this particular aspect of the discussions and uh, one of the case you can justify that we had uh, estimated these eight points but however because of so and so reason it became small and it will take care of in our next phase this is a learning point so at the execution point of view uh, at least in my case i never trim down points or don't change anything but i flag a flag out that particular case as a to be, to be reviewed and to be reviewed we need to think something yeah and this is a, also a learning point for a scrum master to keep an eye on such bubbles good some more mentoring so many time we need to uh, remind ourselves what is size as as he say size is more about a relative judgment of this is small this is big and when we are doing this relative judgment we are using the knowledge of a group not as one person and this group knowledge at that point of time may be wrong but we can challenge it we have a group consensus and this point might be two three sprint ahead in time where you may have a limited knowledge about the product now when you are doing this you are doing just this comparison it may happen that there is an another story which is also looks like similar but they have some code reusability and these things will only come to know when you go into real development but at this particular stage this is also eight this is also eight and this is three that's it because search by name and search by keyword both are big but once the search by name has been made search by keyword may become small but if i make it small right now then product owner may say give me this only small thing only so as you have a code more and more code coming in your velocity is expected to increase so size is something an independent relative judgment of a group irrespective of the sequence irrespective of who is doing it when i use a word sequence there could be a code reusability there could be a technical depth to take care of both way it can impact the the stuff now uh, uh, there is a correlation between the size and and uh, sorry point the way he is he, he was also pointing but there's not a clear linear correlation it is something like all most of the one pointer takes 8 hours but there are some one pointer which takes 16 hours there are some one pointer which takes 2 hours but the majority should be somewhere here else you are doing wrong estimation so as a scrum master we need to make sure that there are some out there could exist yeah we can learn from those outliers maybe we need to do something about it or they may be acceptable because we know that there was a reusability issue there was there was a impediment which make it block for block but yes this is something should be emerging so in, in if all five and eight stories start taking similar time then it's the point of worry if some of the five and eight story takes similar time this is not a point of worry because the, they might be here the 5 pointer is taking more than average time and 8 pointer is taking more than less than average time and since they are here they may follow in a similar bucket we can look at it it is not a, 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 an, an other stuff second in this case we are assuming the development skills are more or less same if the development skills changes again there is a, is a, is a difference so we can, we can definitely keep learning from it but it can't be so linear especially 5 and 8 they are so nearby maybe 5 pointer average 5 pointer takes 35 hours maybe and this 5 pointer is taking 50 hours then it is coming towards outer layer average 8 pointer might take say 60 hours but this one is taking 50 hours so it is coming this outer layer and then both outer layer do have a problem so some cases it's okay but if it is happening frequently then maybe we are doing wrong relative judgment the relative judgment is wrong and we need to look at the relative judgment and fix it for the remaining time please to clarify and give you a, a convincing answer to your your stakeholders yeah, so that you can make it clear yeah, what i can relate the problem is like the team does not have the understanding when they do the uh, estimation in terms of story points they do not relate what is like what they have done maybe they should not be 
See, this should not be. As a scrum master, you may need to capture this data and present it. And it's good they don't relate. But it should emerge like this. When we look back, it should emerge. When they start relating, they may start gaining the number. Because they may estimate it like that way, but reality would be again different. So better let them feel free when they are estimating. Because they should estimate in a way which can be achieved. But when we look back, this should emerge. And if it is not emerging, their estimation may not be a problem. Maybe a ranking is a problem. Maybe technical depth is a problem. Maybe one module is such sticky that if that particular module has to be touched, 8 point becomes 16 point. Because the size was same, but there are so many technical depths there which makes the process slow. So we need to look those areas. As a scrum master, you can spend some time and doing data analysis. And that is ideally we should be doing. Typically the time, uh, no, the sizing what you say, we always, uh, in my at least, we do a product backlog review. In terms of, we try to correlate all the things and we estimate the stories, story points based on the gut estimates. We don't spend much of the time, we review backlog in less than an hour and then it. So, next time when you go into the active sprints backlog, you start understanding that okay, this is something which we are refined. We need to spend little more time on the refine. Use your good idea. So, just share the view. Don't and and don't think of dictating uh, the team a story point versus ours, because that will lose the essence of doing good sprint planning. Because they are anyway not going to do it. They may just do a good planning, but they will not execute the sprint. And in waterfall, this problem can remain hidden for 6-7 months because we force them to estimate and they will deliver after 12 months. So 12 months, both of us remain happy. You remain happy, you are going to get on time. They remain happy that whatever we are doing, nobody is coming to me. <laughs> but in the giant scrum, both of us can't remain happy. If you force something, it will get exposed after 2 weeks. If they do something, it will get exposed after 2 weeks. So after 2 weeks, you have something to validate it.